The momentum of a body is defined as the product of its mass and velocity. The unit of momentum is kilogram meters per second or newton seconds. It is a vector quantity and its direction is that of the body's velocity. Simplistically, it could be said that momentum tells us how easy or how hard it is to stop a moving object. When an object is acted upon by an external force, its momentum changes. Newton's third law tells us that when two bodies interact, they exert equal and opposite forces on each other. If no resultant external force acts on a system of objects, although the momentum of the individual objects may change, the total momentum of the system remains constant. The total momentum of a system remains constant, providing no external force acts on the system. In collisions and explosions, the principle of conservation of momentum can be stated as total momentum before equals total momentum after. Newton's second law states that the rate of change of momentum is proportional to the total force acting on the body. Energy is defined as the stored ability to do work. The release of energy does work and doing work on something gives it energy. Energy and work done are equivalent quantities. Work done is equal to energy transferred. This is not easily calculated, but in situations of motion, it can be stated as work done equals force times distance moved in the direction of the force. Work done is a scalar quantity measured in newton meters, or more commonly in joules. One joule of energy is the work done when a force of one newton moves its point of application over a distance of one meter. It is important to note that when considering work done, only the force in the direction of the motion counts. If a trolley is pulled at an angle, only the horizontal component of the pulling action does any work. There are many different forms of energy, including heat, sound, electrical, kinetic, and potential. Kinetic energy is an object's ability to do work as a result of its motion. Gravitational potential energy is defined as the ability to do work as a result of an object's height. The principle of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed although it may be transformed from one form to another. This animation shows the energy changes in a roller coaster as it goes up and down. Kinetic energy in the dips is converted into potential energy on top of the peaks. Energy changes also occur in cars, where chemical energy stored in the car's fuel is transformed into the kinetic energy of the engine's movement, and subsequently into heat and sound energy. If a body is lifted up, it gains potential energy equal to its mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity multiplied by the height it is lifted to. If the body is then dropped, its potential energy is gradually converted into kinetic energy as it falls, until just before impact with the ground, all the potential energy has been converted into kinetic energy.
it is possible to calculate the body's impact velocity. Study the method shown. Energy is needed to change the temperature of a substance. The specific heat capacity of a material is defined as the heat energy needed to increase the temperature of one kilogram of the material by one kelvin. Internal energy is determined by the state of a system and can be defined as the random distribution of the microscopic kinetic and potential energies of the molecules in an object. The internal energy of a gas can be increased by increasing the thermal energy given to its container. The slowly moving gas molecules of a cool gas will gain kinetic energy when they hit the walls so that the molecules vibrate more vigorously. We say that the gas's temperature increases as its internal energy increases. The kinetic theory of gases states that the pressure of a gas is due to the force of the molecules bombarding the walls of the container. When a molecule bounces off a wall, its momentum is reversed because of its change in direction. Newton's second law tells us that force equals the rate of change of momentum. We can therefore say that the average force exerted by a gas is the average rate at which the momentum of its molecules is changed by collision. When considering the kinetic theory of gases, numerous assumptions are made. The gas consists of a large number of molecules. The gas molecules move with rapid random motion. Collisions between gas molecules and the container walls are perfectly elastic. Attraction between the molecules is negligible. The duration of the collisions is negligible compared to the time between collisions. The volume of the gas molecules is negligible compared to the volume occupied by the gas. The model used assumes a gas to consist of an enormous number of point masses moving with completely random motion, bouncing perfectly elastically off one another and the walls of the container. Boyle's law describes the relationship between pressure and volume for a gas at a constant temperature. If the volume increases, pressure decreases. If the volume decreases, pressure increases. We can therefore say that the volume of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure applied to it if the temperature remains constant. In a smaller volume, there are more collisions between gas molecules and the walls of the container. This means there are more forces exerted over small areas. As pressure equals force divided by area, this equates to a higher pressure. Charles' law is concerned with the effect of temperature on the volume and pressure of a gas. Volume increases with temperature at a constant pressure while pressure increases with temperature at a constant volume. Charles discovered that, at a constant pressure, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to its temperature in kelvins.
Kelvin developed a temperature scale which gave things absolute temperatures. Absolute zero is the temperature at which it is no longer possible to extract any energy from a system. This corresponds to the temperature at which a gas no longer has a volume or exerts any pressure. As ideal gases do not exist, this is a purely theoretical concept. Absolute zero is defined as zero kelvins. Charles also found that the pressure of a gas is proportional to its temperature at a constant volume. Temperature is proportional to the average kinetic energy of the molecules in an ideal gas.